Hey, what's going on YouTube? So a long time ago, through my own observations, I came up with something. And I really don't see how other people don't realize this. But through my own observations, I realize that all living things have feelings. Either you're talking about an insect, talking about just a, a, just a regular random wood, wood animal, a, just some random creature that lives in the woods. Everything has feelings. And I'm gonna tell you how I came up with this uh, conclusion. You're sitting down on the ground, waiting for your friend to pick you up, and you look down and you see an ant on the ground. What do you do? You don't smash it, don't smash it, okay? God, you're, you're just a horrible person. What you do is put your foot or hand or something down in front of the ant. What does the ant do? Most of the time the ant will just either turn the other way and start walking or crawling. Sometimes it'll just crawl over your hand. Now through observation I realized that because uh, let me give you an, uh, let me give you a second example real quick. You see an animal. It's random. It's in the woods. You're randomly in the woods and you see an animal. You make eye contact with that animal. The animal runs away scared, okay? Now why would an animal run away scared if it has no feelings? Penguins marry for life. Penguins <laughs> penguins mate for life. That has to do with love, okay? It's got to. There's no way that you can just look at an animal and think that it doesn't have feelings. When it's scared it'll cry when it's hurt it'll whimper what makes us different we can talk we can move we can create tools and take over the earth everything that this world had to offer resources resources that's the word are we better just because we can deplete all of the resources of this world no we are a parasite we are ruining this world for everything else that lives on it animals in general they do certain things because they have certain feelings just like humans have certain feelings makes us do certain things, okay? We got that? Animals, when they find a big, huge pile of things they can eat, they're happy about it. It's not like, oh man, now I gotta eat all this food and I'm sad. No, you can look into anything's eyes, anything, and you can see how it's feeling. You can look into a dog's eyes or a cat's eyes or a random raccoon in the woods eyes if you just look. Sure, the random raccoon in the woods is gonna scratch your face off if you pick it up and look at it, but that's because it's scared. It's scared for its life. You know why? Any other human he's seen has tried to murder it. That's why a lot of animals could be our pets. We could have weird ass animals as pets, but because we are such a threatening race, Animals have to be scared of us, and they are right to. They have a right to run away and try and hide, because we will murder, we will kill them. A lot of people get me up on this because I am totally for animal rights, but I am a meat eater. I will rip apart a piece of meat with my teeth. Don't just grab that, I'll tell you why. When we evolved, and if you, you know, if you don't believe we evolved, I'm sorry, but we did. When we evolved, we were born with sharp teeth. Sharp teeth, it hurt, okay? It'll break skin. If we evolved and we were only meant to eat plants and grass and seaweed, the, the grass of the sea, then we would have flat teeth, just like brontiosauruses. I hope I said that right. Just like brontiosauruses. They have flat teeth so that they can grind down the herbs and gather the nutrients. Now our teeth are sharp. Okay, you see that how it's, you see how it's sharp right there? It's sharp. It's sharp so that we can tear apart meat. Now, I don't like the way that the majority of the people on earth get their meat and nutrients from breeding massive amounts of animals and then just breeding them to slaughter, which is very wrong. I understand that. They are looking at the big picture. There is way too many people on this earth today. This is a little fact that I picked up. If we don't kill 65% of the humans on earth now, the human race will not have enough resources to survive the next 2,000 years. Yeah. So what does that mean? That means we have to create nutrients. We have to artificially inseminate some cows and make them have some babies, get us some milk, and then eat their beef. That's what we have to do. Now, I'm gonna talk about veal. Veal is wrong, okay? If you are going to slaughter an animal for meat, don't slaughter a fucking animal when it's a baby. Are you fucking kidding me? Ah, 
That just hurts me. You think that when you kill a cow, the other cows around it don't realize? They just don't want to speak up and ram your ass into the ground because they're figured they're going to be next. If an animal can be scared, it can have other feelings too. How is it just going to be programmed one, one, one feeling? It's not. You guys got to, you got to help change the world. And I am going to tell you how right now. Next time you see a bug or a little baby animal, something that you can pick up and move without getting in trouble, you see an ant crawling on a branch. It's just crawling on a branch. It doesn't really know where it's going. It's just looking for food. Pick that ant up and drop it near a crumb. You have changed that ant's life forever. That ant would not be over there. It would not be over there. It would be over here on a branch. You literally changed the whole concept of life for that animal slash insect. You literally changed the whole world. What I like to think about is you're walking down the side of the road and you see a rock. See a rock on the side of the road. Pick up that rock and toss it. Throw it somewhere else. Now what I like to think about when I do that is how long has that rock been in that same exact spot from where I picked it up? And how long is that rock gonna be in the spot that I left it? That is literally changing the world. No, no matter how insignificant you think it is, that is literally changing the world. This rock was here, now this rock is here. The world is changed. Me being right here and then being right here. Look, I'm changing the world. I wasn't standing right over here before. I was standing right here. But because I'm standing over there now, I'm changing the world. See, we're changing the world world together. Get up and stand up from your chair real quick. Did you do it? You just changed the world. Before the world was you sitting down in a chair. Now you're standing up and it's a whole brand, it's a brand new world. How can you, how can you be sad from that? You literally changed the world every single day. The world would not be like it is today if you did not exist. Just keep remembering that. Just remember that. The world is different because of you. You are amazing. You are amazing. Any bugs watching this, you're amazing. Any animals watching this, you are amazing. I know you have feelings and I wish, I wish you could understand me because I would tell you that it's okay and I would take you put you all put you all on an island somewhere where you guys can just live together for free for freezies for freezies I know animals have feelings it's very obvious just just watch an animal just watch an insect everything living has feelings and for people that just are cruel to animals you're a piece of shit and the whole world hates you literally the whole world every bug every insect why do I keep saying bugs and insects those are the same things every bug every animal every pet every human we're all the same we are literally all the same. Yeah, we can get gather resources and we can multiply faster or we can we can take over this planet. Plane, plane, I'm trying to make a point. Shut up. Get out of here. Point being, everything in this world has feelings. If you guys want to change the world, you can, and I hope you do. And I will see you guys next Friday. Thanks for listening. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna jump on the bed now. Whee! Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I have my opinions on animals and insects and stuff like that, but I want to know your opinion. Do you guys actually think that animals and insects have feelings? I know I've made some pretty valid points. I just want to know what your opinion is because a lot of people out there really probably disagree with me and some people out there probably do agree with me. Let me know what you think. Do you think that just because an animal can be scared means it could have other feelings too? or? vice versa do you think that you know scared is just a reaction and it's not really a feeling let me know in the comments and um if you guys like the video you guys like my opinions on things make sure you leave me something else i could talk about if you really did like the video please make sure you lfc like favorite comment it really does help me out oh and make sure you guys check out my links in the description i'm really into instagram now so make sure you add me on instagram at hello ryan holmes same as my twitter so see you guys on friday So my new friend's coming over today. Oh, really? Where'd you meet him? Funny story. I thought he stole my TV, but it was actually a complete misunderstanding. And we've been pretty good friends ever since. I just woke up. And I went on YouTube. And I saw on the most viewed videos today that some...